Today I'm going to walk you through how to create headers and banners for your social media sites. So stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools and tricks to help you share your story. Today I'm going to walk you through how to create headers and banners using Adobe Spark Post. I'm going to walk you through the process of creating a folder and organizing those headers and banners within there and some shortcuts on how you can speed up that process. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm right here on my dashboard in Adobe Spark Post on the web. The first thing we're going to do is click on the projects icon on the left here. As you can see, I have all of my project folders here. This is great for staying organized for all the different projects you work on. If you have any clients or just different, again, projects that you may have. I'm going to click up here on the right hand side. Tiny little icon there is to create a new folder. I'm going to call this headers, banners, click create. So now when I create these headers and banners, I'm going to do them within this folder. They'll stay organized in there. So let's go ahead and click in there. As you can see now, I'm ready to create content. It says here, create now. If I click on that button, it'll take me to some template pages, but I'm going to start from scratch here and go and click on the blue plus sign and choose custom graphic. Here, I have the different grouped size uh, options to choose from. I'm going to go with the social profile because this one will give me my headers, covers, and banners. You see here, Facebook, Eventbrite, you got Twitch. So I'm going to go ahead and go with the Twitter header here. If you don't see any other one, that's okay. We can recreate it by adjusting the project. I'm going to click on next and then going to add the image that I'm going to be using as my header. So let's go ahead and find that one. I'm going to click on the plus sign and then add some text. I can choose from the template text that are there. There's some great ones. So if you don't have one, in your mind, you could always choose one of these, but I'm going to go ahead and add my own text and start with my name here. And click done. Make some adjustments. I want that to kind of line up. And I don't like the way that font looks, but that's all right. We can go ahead and change that out by clicking on the style of text. Go with that one. And if I want to maybe add a kind of effect, maybe a background to that text. So let's go ahead and go with kind of like a, a shadow. And here's the color of the shadow. I'm gonna go with white, just so it's a little more visible there. There we go. And if I want to, I can always swap out the color. So if I want the text to be white, I can do that and then make the shadow be the other color. But I'm going to go ahead and go with that right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that text and duplicate it just so that I make sure it's consistent. And maybe down here, let's click on this and go media and more. And then maybe make this one a bit smaller. Oh, wrong one. We want the size to be smaller, which is up here. So let's go maybe with, uh, let's choose 25. There we go. Maybe just a little bit bigger. So there we go. We kind of have my banner with my text here. So the next thing to do here is let's name this one. And this was my Twitter. So I'm going to go uh, Twitter header banner, cover, whatever you want to call it, hit enter. And now I'm going to head back out to projects. It's going to take me to my projects uh, location where I see all my folders and then go ahead and click back into the header banners folder where I'm going to see the Twitter header there. So now to speed up the process here, I don't have to start all over for each of the headers and banners. I'm going to click right here on those three dots, duplicate it. And this one, instead of calling it Twitter, let's go ahead and call this Facebook. And I may need to adjust it just depending on which Facebook cover banner size I choose. So now I'm going to go ahead and go into that project and edit it. 
Now that I have this open, what I'm going to do here is go down to resize. And as you can see here, now all the other headers and covers will pop up. So let's say, let's choose LinkedIn options. So notice how it adjusts. So then what I can do is I could either leave it the way it is or maybe adjust my picture a little bit. Kind of like the way that looked right there at the top. And then up here, again, because we're using the LinkedIn, so I'm going to come up here and change this to LinkedIn. And this is a profile cover, so I'm going to name it such. Profile, cover, enter. And then go back to projects. Now I'm going to repeat the process, go back into headers, banners, folder, and then going to, again, click on the three dots there and duplicate it again. We're just gonna call this, let's call this, leave it as profile cover, duplicate it. Cause then when I go into the edit section, I can adjust the name of that project. If you're looking for a profile cover and you don't see the size there, you're not out of luck. You're going to, again, repeat the process, duplicate and go in and edit. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this one to show you how you can adjust the size. So if we go back to resize and you're like, well, I don't see a certain social media platform header or banner size here. Well, then all you need to do is come up to the very, very top where you see the custom. You can click in there, enter your width and height, depending on whichever header profile size you want to choose. Click done and just again, rename it. And then you go through the whole process. So now you have all of your headers, banners, covers for all of your social media platforms ready and easy to use. I hope this video was helpful, something that you can use to customize your own headers and banners for your social media sites. If you have any comments or questions, please do leave it in the comment section below. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to click on the little bell to be notified for future videos. And please do share this video with others. Thanks again for watching. And as always, be good to one another. I'm out.